All right, so in this video, we will be going over the Hoenn League. I would do the World Tournament right now, but like Alola, it's 10 plus episodes, minus the episodes that have nothing to do with the league. I mean, it's three episodes less, but I'm not doing 10 plus episode leagues back to back. We is not the heat. So in the meantime, I'll knock out these first couple of leagues to prepare myself for this monster. So let's get into the video. Let's go! All right, so like any other league, Ash is pulling up ready to smoke everybody then lose to the most random trainer. While the group is walking around, they get jumped by a flock of Murkrow, which makes sense. Murkrow was one of the many Pokemon that just got black Air Force energy coursing through its veins. Now we got Puss in Boots over here cutting it up, literally, and now everyone's getting noodles. We then learn that the guy's name is Tyson and he already starts calling Ash's rival. Like, what do you mean rival? Y'all just met. Who the met. fuck is this? <laughs> Come to think of it, Ash never really had a rival during his home run, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Now, nah, look at this man Brock. This man is the living embodiment of love is a hell of a drug. In a room full of Nurse Joys and Officer Jennings, he got his stamina on 99. Tyson shows up and says that the torch was stolen. And after looking at how it was stolen, it really makes you question the qualifications to be any sort of authoritative figure in Pokemon. I think I just saw Moltres up there. Huh? <laughs> how do y'all fall for something like this? First off, what would a Moltres be doing inside? Second, if it was inside, y'all would burn to death, so there's no point! Anyway, now Team Rocket's getting chased, then Officer Jenny hits this 90-inch vert off the rails with a motorbike. Like, do you know how strong you have to be to at least get it off the ground? Hey man, the Jenny's over in Hoenn must be a different breed, because when did she have this in her bag? Then Ash does the same thing two minutes later. Like, what they got them eating? Flintstone gummies? One useless Team Rocket scheme and a bunch of preliminary battles later, the league begins. Finally! Two episodes into this and we can finally get something going. First is Morrison versus Cody from Surf's Up. Morrison sends out Growlithe and Gligar, and the dude sends out Marowak and Machamp. Marowak got Growlithe and the Skull Murphy and starts beating him with his head. Gligar goes in for the guillotine, but Machamp blocks it with Karate Chop. Then Growlithe uses Flamethrower on a Marowak, which he really shouldn't be, but okay, and Marowak blocks it. Yo, Morrison got a tee up right now. Gligar gets two-pieced and knocks down Machamp with Steel Wing. Finally, he lands a hit. Let's see how Growlithe is doing. My disappointment. Can't make this up. It Machamp hits Gligar with Vital Throw, then Gligar answers back with Guillotine. Growlithe is still trying to use Flamethrower on a ground type. Like, bro, do something else, please. Gligar KOs Machamp with a bunch of Steel Wings, and Growlithe is still trying to use Flamethrower. You know what? I'm not doing this no more. Morrison wins. Sorry, you ass battle. Now it's time for Ash's battle. He sends out Torkoal and Corefish, and Dominic sends out Tropius and Swallow. Tropius uses Razor Leaf on both Torkoal and Corefish, but they deflect it. Then it tries to use Bullet Seed on Tork. Oh, okay, this league better make me mad, bro. I swear. Swallow uses Sludge Bomb on Corefish, and it does a bit of damage. Then Tropius uses Gust and knocks Torkoal off balance. Torkoal lands a Flamethrower, then tries to finish the battle with Overheat, but Tropius <laughs> dodges it. Corefish dodges a Body Slam from Swallow, then uses Bubble Beam. But since Swallow got some of that Aveno Lotion on, the bubble slid right off. Both Corefish and Torkoal attack Team Tropius as it was about to use Solar Beam. Corefish goes in and smacks Tropius on the head, then Torkoal follows up with Flamethrower. That however didn't work, so Tropius fires Solar Beam anyway. Torkoal responds by using Overheat again, and him and Tropius have a Solar Beam Overheat collision, which leads in a double knockout. Again! Why are we using moves on Pokemon that resist them? Corefish gets hit with Shockwave twice, then gets body slammed by Swalot. He manages to get it off, then gets hit with a barrage of Shadow Balls. So Corefish charges in, takes another Shockwave, grabs Swalot, throws it on the ground, puts his claw in his mouth, and fills him up with some bubbles. The hell was that? Now we got Ash versus Clark. Ash sends out Galalee and Groval, and Clark sends out Charizard and Quilava. This nigga had one job. One! Look, I know the anime doesn't follow tight matchups 80% of the time, but this is getting ridiculous at this point. He's just putting his faith in plot now. Both Glalie and Groval get hit with super effective attacks. Buddy was so confident he named a Sonata after this man. That's crazy work. Glalie uses Icy Wind, which did nothing. Groval was able to dodge Steel Wing, but Glalie wasn't able to dodge Quick Attack. Kolava tries to dodge Quick Attack, but Groval is just better, so he caught up and smacked him, then Glalie came in with the headbutt. Real teamwork right there, let's go! Groval prevents Kolaba from reaching Galalee, then Galalee fires an Icy Wind to counter Heat Wave. They out here looking like Jordan Pippen, Johnny Dookie, me and Big Single! Groval knocks out Kolaba with Pound, then Galalee starts playing Pokemon Pinball and KOs Charizard. This man out here doing the impossible right now. Oh yeah, and Tyson's doing good as well. In the victory tournament, we got Ash versus Katie. Ash leads with Torkoal and Katie leads with Venomoth. 
Torkoal blocks Venomoth's Sun Spore, so Venomoth disables Torkoal's Iron Defense. Torkoal uses Flamethrower and Venomoth dodges it, then gets subbed out for Golduck. Golduck blasts Torkoal with Hydro Pump, then finishes him off with Fury Swipes. Sorry ass. Ash sends out Pikachu, so Katie switches to the three little di I mean Dugtrio. Pikachu goes in with Quick Attack, then Dugtrio uses Dig to dodge. It then uses Sand Tomb so Pikachu can't move. Pikachu uses Thunderbolt, okay. All right. I'm about to lose my shit. Dugtrio then uses Double Edge, and Pikachu tries to use Iron Tail, but ended up getting knocked out. Oh boy. No, fuck that. Oh, you got me fucked up. So since the son of Arceus is out, Ash sends out Glalie. Dugtrio tries to use Dig again, but Glalie was like, oh, oh, and took it out with Ice Beam. Katie's next Pokemon is Mischievous. Glalie uses Ice Beam and Mischievous just charges in. Glalie uses Headbutt, which shouldn't have even hit Mischievous, but what do I know at this point? Mischievous takes that Headbutt dead on, then uses Destiny's Bond, which KO'd Glalie when it got taken up. Now that half of Ash's team is gone, the battlefield switches to a water one. Ash sends out Corefish and Katie sends Golduck back out. They both go band for band, then Corefish gets caught in a confusion while trying to land an attack. Because of that, Corefish is confused and can barely walk straight. But let me show you why Corefish is an absolute dog. Despite being confused, he's still able to get the job done. He hit this man with a crab hammer to the jaw, gave him a good firm handshake, threw him like a baseball, look at that form, then finished him off with a bubble beam. I wish it was like this in the games. Katie sends out Venomoth and Ash switches to Swellow. It got in a few pecks before Venomoth disabled it. Venomoth tries to use Supersonic but ain't nobody falling for that no more. So Swellow finished it off with Quick Attack. Next is Scizor. Him and Swellow kept going at each other. Then Scizor uses Shadow Clone Jutsu and Metal Claw. Swellow hits the Uno Reverse and also uses Double Team, using them as decoys to get the knockout. Katie's final Pokemon is Walrein. Since Walrein is quite a bulky Pokemon, it's not going to be easy for Ash to get past this one. Swellow barely escapes the first Ice Beam but gets hit by the second one, taking it out. Ash sends out Corefish, who gets absolutely flattened by Body Slam. Damn! So now both trainers are down to their last Pokemon. Walrein dodges Leaf Blade, then lands an Ice Beam. Groval knocks Walrein out of the water, to which Walrein uses Ice Beam and freezes the battlefield. So now it can't hide underwater anymore, so he better run the ones now. Groval lands a direct quick attack, and Walrein responds with another direct quick attack. Groval lands a leaf blade which baited Walrein into getting up close, which allowed Groval to land a bullet seed. Walrein uses Ice Beam, but Groval was dodging it like how I dodged Satan's attempts to pull me away from God, you know what I'm saying? No count. Both Walrein and Groval charging at each other, then <laughs> Groval dodges last second and lands a Leaf Blade uppercut, securing the win. So, Watson, this is where old Chili goes to die. Hey, that's just the easy legendary sniper at work. After Morrison and Tyson win their battles, the group learns that Ash and Morrison are battling against each other. And since Morrison doesn't want to battle a friend, he gets all messed up in the head when the battle begins. Which I kinda get. I wouldn't want to ruin my friend's dreams of winning it all. But at the same time, that battle will be cold as shit! The battle starts, and for the first two matchups, Morrison is not feeling himself. So Ash had to snap him out of it. Hey! Hey, life in peaches and cream, man! Lock in! And he did exactly that. He locked back in. He sends out the Swamper, and both him and Corefish have a Crab Hammer Focus Punch Collision. Then they have a Bubble Beam and Hydro Pump Collision. Damn, he might have actually locked in, locked in. Then they both knock each other out. Next is Pikachu versus Steelix. Steelix hits Pikachu with Iron Tail, then uses Dig. Pikachu tries to retaliate with Iron Tail, but Steelix dodges with Dig. Pikachu hits Steelix in the jaw, then gets KO'd after an Iron Tail collision. What? You know what? I'll let this one slide. He's like the 2014 Warriors. He's good, but he just hasn't made that jump yet. Next is Torkoal's sorry ass. It blocks Steelix's Dragon Breath, then fires back with Overheat, which overpowers Dragon Breath and connects. Steelix disappears into the smoke, then hits Torkoal with Dig and finishes it with Dragon Breath. Sorry ass. Ash sends out his Grove out next and proceeds to dodge its way to an easy knockout. Bro was like, invest in some Listerine big fella, your breath stank! Now it's Gligar versus Grove out. Gligar gets hit with Bullet Seed, but Gligar got his get back and slammed Grove out on the ground by his neck. Crazy. Ash sends out Swellow and he uses Shadow Clone Jutsu to land a peck, but Gligar dodges. Then it dodges Iron Tail, but gets hit by Hidden Power. Both of their attacks collide which end in a double knockout. Finally, it's Glalie versus Matang. Matang hits Glalie with Takedown, then uses Confusion to turn Glalie's Ice Beam against it and hit it with Takedown again. Yo, Matang is going crazy right now. Glalie uses Ice Beam again and Matang repels it, but this time Glalie uses Icy Wind to repel it back to Matang, so basically they just had a no you off. Matang hits Glalie with Meteor Mash, then Glalie starts doing Spin Jitsu charging in at Matang. Both Glalie and Matang were about to collide, but this man dodges last second and lands the hit, winning the match. You know what? Props to Morrison. 
getting over a slump like that mid battle and being able to perform at 100% still is something not a lot of people can do. Later on it's revealed that Ash will be facing Tyson in the quarterfinals. Before the quarterfinals, Meowth goes up to Tyson's Meowth and starts giving him tips on how to beat Ash's Pikachu. Another day, another slay. This man is really preying on Pikachu's downfall right now. I know he hated him, but I didn't think it was this bad. Ash sends out Galilee and Tyson sends out Sceptile. Both Ice Beam and Solar Beam collide. Wait, hold up. Did he just use Solar Beam without charging it up? The item allowing you to do that wasn't introduced until a generation later. Everything about this league is not making sense anymore. Anyway, both of their attacks collide, causing a double knockout. What the hell? The intro hasn't even rolled yet. How the heck are we already knocked out? Then we cut to Meowth watching the battle, eagerly waiting for Puss and Boots to show up, and then Shiftry gets knocked out. Finally, Torkoal does something, jeez! Tyson sends out Hariyama and stiff arms Torkoal's flamethrower, then bodies Torkoal. You know what? I ain't even mad. It got a knockout. What more could you want? Ash sends out Corefish and uses Bubble Beam, but Hariyama dodges it. Corefish then dodges Brick Break, but gets KO'd after Focus Punch and Crab Hammer collide. Ash switches to his Swellow and uses Quick Attack, but it got grabbed by the beak and thrown like a ragdoll. But since Swellow got that Hall of Fame determination, he ain't let that phase him, and he charged in with Aerial Lace, taking out Hariyama. Bro is not playing. Tyson's next Pokemon is Donphan. It starts with Sandstorm, but Swellow got rid of it easy. Swellow gets hit with Rollout repeatedly, then somehow stops it with his feet. This is surprising because the thing with Rollout is that the more it hits, the stronger it gets. So how Swellow was able to stop it with its feet is something I'll never know. Not only that, he picked it up and threw it. Tyson sends out his Metagross next. It used his Psychic, which did lots of damage to Swellow. Swellow used his Peck, but it did nothing. So Swellow got taken out by Hyper Beam. Here's where Ash sees the crack in Metagross's head, so he decides to use it to his advantage. He sends ah, out Grovile cool. and uses Bullet Seed on Metagross's weak spot. He keeps doing this until he got taken out by Meteor Bash. Now it's up to the son of Arceus, who hasn't really been doing anything, but let's hope he can do something now. Pikachu uses Thunderbolt on the dent, then hits it with Iron Tail. Pikachu then grabs onto Metagross and lets it rip, taking out Metagross. Finally, it's Pikachu versus Puss in Boots. Mouth is off to the side cheering for the other Mouth. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? Bro is crying and everything. Bro, he's not gonna let you hit. Relax. Pikachu dodges Slash, then both of their Thunderbolts clash. Then they both go band for band with electricity, and they just kept going at each other for like the next minute or two. Whole time Meowth is off to the side commentating glazing, like shut up, that's my job! Anyway, after beating each other to the point of exhaustion, Pikachu falls, and Tyson wins the match, and then wins the league later on. Ah well, tough. Not gonna lie, Ash should not have made it as far as he did, cause some of the choices he made during some of his battles had me losing brain cells. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night depending on when you're watching this. And I'll see y'all next time. Later.